Okay, uh, time for more sex expertise. And our question is, what are some non-traditional places to have sex? Well, I've definitely gotten down on many fun and exciting places, though I guess it's always dangerous, but that is the fun part of having sex in a public place, that you are risking the danger. Just hope you don't get caught. I never got caught, luckily. But some fun places I've tried, well, I've never done, like, full-on anal out in public because... I can't just have spontaneous anal sex since I need, like, lube and my toys to open me up. Like, I can't do that one, like, as freely as oral. But I like to have oral sex in fun places. Plus, it's so much easier to just whip out your dick and, like, suck it in public. Like, I've done it in a park before. Go to, like, a hidden area on a trail and find a secluded spot whip out his dick and start sucking though I did get a bug bite that is a risky maneuver so just make sure you are like fully clothed to avoid like ticks or like other bugs so I guess if it's like hot in the park you don't want to do it when it's cold and if it's gross on the ground but whatever you do have to get dirty if you want to have dirty sex out in public so definitely I try park make sure it's secluded area nobody's around maybe if you go like I went out in the middle of the day because it's like usually when nobody's there, especially if it's like during a work season or school season, you don't have to worry about people out in the parks. So just go in the middle of the day, a time when it's not crowded. When it go at night, that's when like the killer goes in the woods and the slutty ones always die first. But yeah, park, I had stuck a dick on a dance floor before. I remember the first time I ever went to a gay club, I saw a guy like sucking some guy's dick on the dance floor. It's like, that is so disgusting and trashy. Then cut to like... Four years later, I'm doing it myself. I mean, I only did it briefly, but it was fun to try. And you can brag, like, I sucked a guy's dick on a dance floor before. I mean, it wasn't a, like, giant club. I've also done club bathrooms. Those are, like, pretty common. I've done a, sucked a lot of dicks in club bathrooms. I think it's fun. You sneak off into a stall, or even, like, restaurants. Especially if you find, like, a nice restaurant that has, like, a full, like, door on the stall where, like, you can't even see underneath. Like, that would be perfect for hooking up in. I mean... Just make sure it's not anywhere crowded or there's, like, a line, but... Or there's no bathroom attendants, because they can be real killjoys. So I feel like most places don't have them. But they are there to prevent the fun from happening in the stalls. But if you find a place with a lot of stalls and sneak off in there with your man or woman and get down, just don't be loud, because you don't want to get caught or arrested or banned from the club. But be inconspicuous. Go to, like, the stall at the end, especially if it's, like, a long room with like tons of stalls like just find one do it don't get loud and be smart about it also where else is a fun place to try it my friend did it in like the back of a truck he like went outside the club and fucked some random guy but I mean I've never done it in a truck that I can remember I've sucked dick in a car before that's fun it's dangerous but it can be romantic I remember picking up this hot jersey by Juice Head with a girlfriend in New York City and like blew him while I was driving around the city though I didn't really get to see the scenery since my head was in his crotch but that can be fun too always try new fun places I've done it like everywhere in the house shower basement bed floor I've never done it in a kitchen done it in the living room even in college in the middle of my living room when my roommates are like walking through I'm like sucking some guy's dick like that's happened multiple times before. I mean, most of the time I don't think they saw me. You just have, like, have them in the chair facing the window, and then they can't really see you, but they can maybe see that your head is in their crotch. But whatever, who cares? It's your place, too. But, yeah, lots of public places are fun. Those are some fun places. I've never tried at the beach because, well, I usually never meet guys at the beach, and I don't want sand in my areas. It's, like, annoying enough to clean out sand and the rest of your body or even a towel like I don't want sand in my crotch some people are into that and I'm also scared of like doing it in like the water because like I don't know I don't know how people suck dick underwater I like don't want to drown or like get water in my mouth it's like the worst feeling but I mean I've seen it done and people make it look easy but I guess porn always makes everything look easy but I don't know underwater someplace I'd maybe like to try maybe in the back of a truck that could be fun I have a trucker fan I want to try that. But I guess it wouldn't be, like, any different than when I sucked it in a car before. But, yeah, I've never done it at school. I'm not a student anymore. So, that's not going to happen. 
But yeah, there's lots of tons of fun and exciting places to hook up. So keep it up in mind. If you and your partner are feeling frisky, look around, check out the scenery, make sure it's secluded and not dangerous and you won't get arrested or be like a sex offender. So hope that helped answer your question and join me again for more sex expertise later.